Finch. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Man, you see, this is what I'm talking about. See, I'm not, I'm not doing this. No, I'm not, I'm no, 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 no. I am not doing this. I'm not doing this. You see, you see what just happened? Like, look, look at what just happened. I want Max to just realize what happens when you mess a big event or something, or you just change something so small in the freaking past. This is what happens. This is what happens, and I'm not doing this. I'm gonna go and explain the whole episode 4 in the fastest way possible recap because honestly I'm not gonna show you the whole thing it's depressing boring it's just long it's just long and it would take hours for me to edit and I've been doing this video for a couple days now and I've been trying to figure out what I want to put and what I don't want to put so honestly episode like half let's just say of the whole episode 4 is not gonna be there because it's just useless all right Max ruins the whole thing um, by going back in time saving Chloe's dad it's just stupid, you know, like I said, you don't just change the past like that. You can't do stuff like that. You know, a big change just messes up the whole future and present for you, you know. 
So, like, that becomes her present now. Um, Chloe is now, you know, in a wheelchair and stuff like that. She got in a car accident. In, uh, uh, so, it was her instead of her dad actually getting into the car accident. So, now Max realizes that she's messed up big time and realizes that she's going to have to go back in time. But how is she going to do that? Oh, good. Um, Chloe apparently had a, a whole, like, yearbook thingy of, like, um pictures of them when they were little and stuff like that pictures that never happened at all actually so she had to go back to the to the one where um basically chloe's dad died so she had to go back to that picture and when she did she had she eventually did everything back to normal but like the whole episode just stays in this whole ruined time paradox and it's just stupid i didn't want to show you that because it was depressing and I really, I like speed run through the whole episode. So, yeah, episode five. don't remember any- Oh shit, that's me. He took that shot last night. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Finally, I'm free. Almost. looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Mr. Jefferson, slightly listen, I knew this man was sus from the way very beginning. Dude. But this is this is just a lunatic, bro. Nah, nah, nah. Cut the cameras. Bro, David Mastin coming in clutch. 
Oh no no! Please get up, please. Oh yes, sir. Oh, he no hit him with the one-two combo. No pass. Oh, Jefferson it's going down. It is over. going down. You're not going to stop me. No no no! Wait, what is he doing? Oh, oh my. Yeah, he's out cold. Yes, sir. Finally, we oh, get this oh, lunatic Max. out of here. Are you okay? Are you all right, bro? I love, dude. You I love you, David. Yes. You're clutch, clutch, thank bro. You, David. I knew he was not a bad thank person. You. It's just no, like the military you. tactics one parent has. You brought bro. me here. Strict as freaking frick, Let's bro. Wrap That's up it. This son of a bitch, first. All right, you finally made it out, bro. But you already know. You already know the vision Ma Max had in the beginning of the game, bro. The storm. Oh my gosh, it's it's happening. It's happening. Oh my God. Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Bro, the whole town is getting destroyed. Like, I know you can't see outside, but. Just tell me you do. Bro, look at my boy Warren, bro. Okay, okay. These guys are definitely meant for each other, bro. Hopefully, he doesn't die. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any. Yeah, bro, dude, it's about time you told Warren about your freaking powers. Okay, come on. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying yep. Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom. Yep, yep, yep. Saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? <laughs> Yo! I I'm so hyped right now, bro. I don't know Long why. Story short, for luck. Bro! <laughs> Boy, if you don't get. Oh, wait, what? We're going back in time? All right. Oh yeah, we're going back to the party when we took a picture with Drunk Warren. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Max already knows her lesson. I'm pretty sure she won't ruin it this time. We got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. <sighs> Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna sorry, be Warren. Connected to Rachel. Let's go now. Chloe, wait, listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to. You're gonna die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time, and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you and others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit. Nathan is the fucking serial killer. We saw the proof. Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan and he killed him. Then it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Man. She just won't listen. Excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts- Nathan is- That fucker is- Because- Will you please- Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Chloe, Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. Oh yeah, facts. So like, remember how we, so uh, Max and Chloe, they were like going on this trip to go look for Rachel? Yeah, so they eventually looked and found Rachel. Rachel was actually buried. So, uh, yeah, that was crazy. And, um... No, not this way. 
Glory, yeah, um, she's explaining everything, but I didn't show that because I was like on episode four, I think, and uh, Jefferson did turn out to be a psychopath like we saw, and he did kill Chloe, so yeah. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? I, I was able to go back in time to the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but... But you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... You were completely paralyzed. And... You, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. But Chloe, there was no way I could do that. I had to return to this timeline to see you again. I had to. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and I never want to hurt you. Ever. Max! Max, can you hear me? Please say something, Chloe. I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. My storm! I caused this! I caused all of this! I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything! And all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me! Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield! And you're amazing! Max! This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, 
In whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. And they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. No! I'm officially done! Dude, this is the worst I can- I'm sacrificing Arcadia Bay. I cannot lose Chloe. Okay? Yep, I'm doing it. There is no way I went through this whole game it's to sacrifice Chloe. We saved Chloe in the beginning. I cannot lose her again. I li Dude, what kind of decision is that? No, bro. They left me with the two hardest decisions. I had to. I'm sorry. You might think I'm a bad person, but... Because I'm saving one person instead of saving thousands of other lives that live in that town. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Warren. I'm sorry to everyone. <laughs> no. Dude, look at the tornado. It's hitting. It's going to hit. Yeah, they're done. They're done. Dude, I saved Chloe too, bro, because like I love her, number one, and number two, the this friendship, this bond is just unbreakable, bro. Like, I, I couldn't do it. I mean it would it would not even make sense too. Like, we saved her in the beginning, and yeah, her destiny might have been that dying in, in you know in the bathroom or whatever, but like still I wouldn't have done that. I'm gonna save my friend no matter what happens, bro.